hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm going to show the wiring of a single lamp fluorescent lamp and a twin paired fluorescent lamp and we'll also show them working as well so we'll start with turning them on in three one two three At the moment I have um, 18 watt T8 tubes fitted in both light fittings. Just turn them off. So what we'll do is we'll start with the single baton first and it's wiring and then we'll go to the twin net paired fitting. So I'll just reset up the camera and I'll be back in a moment. So um, this is the wiring inside the single fluorescent light. We'll show you the actual wiring in a minute, but I'll just show you this diagram first. So what we have is we have the cable coming in, live, neutral, and earth. Uh, we have a capacitor crossing between live and neutral, smoothing capacitor, and then the live goes into the ballast. From the ballast it goes to this end of the fluorescent light and the neutral returns from the opposite side of the fluorescent light back to the connector block. And then the starter is connected between the tube on either side when that power is connected to the ballast. Power runs through the starter and it touches and then both electrodes fire and then the starter if working correctly separates and the tube works sometimes this may take one or two attempts when one of the electrodes goes bad these lights will flash continuously until either the tube or the starter burn out if the starter sticks for any particular reason you'll get a tube that glows at either end. This is either a good tube, which will probably have white ends glowing at either end, or if it's a dead tube, um, it'll have like orange end probably at one end or both. So I think the best thing to do is now look at the light fitting a bit closer. But before we do that, I think we'll also show you the power meter and how this light is currently running. So I'll just move to the power meter. Okay, at the moment, um, the voltage in the UK is around about 243 with 50 Hertz. The amps of the single light is 0.377 with a power factor of 27 which is not that good. And we're currently using 25.3 to 0.6 watts. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a closer look at this light fitting, and then we'll move on to the paired twin. Remember always disconnect from the mains before servicing any kind of light this this is a uk standard three pin plug the earth on this one is coated this light is also wired not quite correctly because it's only using a two core cable but we have there's the ballast with its information so i'll just move along a bit so the live and the neutral come into this connector block here is the smoothing capacitor across both. The live wire then goes into the capacitor. And from the capacitor, this black wire uh, goes to this, this end cap. And then the white wire from the end cap goes back over the top of the capacitor 
and goes to the startup. This one has this in it. Hilux Made in Holland SSU single 22240 4 to 65 watt and has a few little symbols on it, which I'll just show scroll through. There we go. And then from the starter, it works its way along back to this end cap. Uh, we have a model number, so we'll might as well see if we can read that. And it says Wix's model two six. No, I'll start again. Model number one six two two eight one. Can we get, have we got that in focus? Yes, we have. Uh, 230 volt AC, 50 hertz, LPF lamp, 18 watt T8, 600 mil mil. And it's a two footer and a bit more information. And the CE label at the bottom. And of course, the neutral wire then comes back all the way back to here and that is how the circuit works on a single fluorescent light I have a little bit more information which I'll just show you it's a QC past sim sticker yep yeah. so what we'll do is we'll quickly stick in the starter again and fire this light up Right, I'm not too sure if you'll see the starter on this one, but we'll give it a go. On three, one, two, three. There we go. So now we're going to move on to the twinned pair fitting. Okay, this is the uh, wiring for a twinned paired fluorescent light, and there's a lot more going on on this. So again, we'll start with cable in, and this time it comes from this side. And we'll get, we've got live, neutral, and earth. Earth is connected again to the body of the light fitting. We have a capacitor again, a small one, which is bridge between neutral and live. The live wire comes out from the connector block and goes straight to the ballast. This ballast is a 36 watt ballast and it comes out of the ballast, goes into tube number two From num tube number two, there is a link wire which goes to tube number one. And then from tube number one, it then goes back as a neutral wire back to the connector block. The other wires are two series pair starters. And these are connected with the other pins on the fluorescent light again. Tube one and tube two as follows. Important things with these lights is if one tube burns out, uh, neither lamps will work. If one starter breaks, neither lamp will work. If the incorrect starters are fitted, neither lamp will work. So they have to be S2 starters, which I'll show in a minute. Um, and of course, you get quite a light show with one of these when one of these tubes burns out because first the bad tube will burn out and start flashing and then as that tube slowly deteriorates the good tube will start flashing as well. Uh, the reason for this is obviously because the live is connected to here from the ballast and the neutral is connected to here. So basically two 
18 watt fluorescent, two foot fluorescent tubes are technically a 36 watt four foot fluorescent tube. So now I think we'll go on and show the light and the wiring inside. Before that again, I will sh quickly show you uh, the consumption of this light. Okay, at the moment, this um, twin 36 watt light is currently using 46 watts. Voltage is still 242.2, but it has dropped a little bit from earlier. Uh, amps, it's 0.4 and a power factor of 0.47 to 49. So what I think we'll do now is show the insides of the light. So again, I've disconnected it from the mains and this is a more standard UK plug. Cable comes across the top, like in the diagram. Live at the bottom, earth neutral, and the capacitor is just here. Again, bridge between live and neutral. The live wire comes out, loops over, goes into this ballast, and then the bottom wire comes out of the ballast and goes along. into the bottom of this fitting just here. It then comes out into this, this starter, which I'll quickly show you again. No idea where these starters are from. DAX, some information, and these are FS2 4 to 22 uh, series single and the and series pairs. They can use these in America apparently on the lower voltage to light up 4 to 22 watt tubes at 110 to 130 volt and then they can also be used as singles in the UK at and Europe at 220 to 240 volts, two watts, six watt and eight watt fluorescent tubes. And then they can be used as series pair starters between four and 22 watts, which is what they're being used for in this light fitting. Right, so, as I said, the um, after the live wire comes into this light, Power then travels through the tube to this end where it goes in at the bottom. And then there's this link wire which goes to this one. And then the starter again is linked across the other tube. The neutral wire is in here and returns back to the cable. So I think what I'll do is I'll quickly fit the fluorescent tubes and we'll have this light strike up as well. Right, so again, we'll just quickly turn this light on and I'll show you some other information that I've just seen in this light as well. So first on three, one, two, three. There we go. The other information that I've seen on this light is the following. Again, this light is made by Wix or sold by Wix or was sold by Wix. And we have some information on it there. It 
it says two times max 18 watts but you can actually run 20 watt T12s in this you, you'll just be under running the tubes so what I'll do now is I think we'll have a final start of this video start up and then we'll end this video so finally on three one two three excellent so I'd like to say thanks for watching please like and subscribe and see you again soon if you want to see the T12s firing up just hang on just a little bit longer and as for that I'm going to say goodbye Now the bonus footage, two foot, 20 watt T12s on three, one, two, three. A bit more flickery. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more frist and light and bus stuff. See you again soon.